I am terrible at waiting for things. Once I enter a lull in which things are out of my hands, I feel euphoric for only a few seconds before the anxiety comes crashing in. I try to hold on to the mindset that if you can't control a thing, then you don't have to stress about it and instead you should let it go. But I have trouble implementing this into my actual life. This particular week was troubling for me in that I was near the final stretch of the semester. My prospects of going on exchange were suspended in the air and my law school applications were also impending. I didn't really know what to do with myself. I had to wait for news, but as someone that loves to plan out and run on five or ten year plans, the possibility of contingency mapping in my head is going by is making it difficult to really do anything. Off from work, I spent my time at home. I couldn't really sleep and would shut my eyes around 2 a.m. By the time I pulled myself out of bed, it would already be 12.30 p.m. I wasn't expending a lot of energy at home. I'd go on my phone a bit, research and prepare for one of my final essays a bit more, and then spend time thinking what was going to happen in a few months if things didn't work out right now. What was I going to do? Did I have backups to fall back on? I'm no stranger to these anxieties. Waiting is just the hardest part for me. Additionally, the winter definitely brings out a very particular sort of sadness in me. But I find comfort knowing I've gone through waits before. Whether they be for university applications in the past, where I've waited excruciatingly from December until May once, or for simple everyday anticipatory things like a graded paper. As an obsessive person, the most practical way to maneuver through this impatience is to find something else to obsess over. So I picked up some books, Devouring Jade Legacy over the course of a few days for instance. I looked forward to making instant coffee lattes, though I haven't yet found any videos or channels to captivate my attention, and watching K-dramas isn't really the same without having Sono on my screen.
Though in the hours I would lie awake, trying to fall asleep, I'd ask myself how it is that I can immediately leave these feelings I have behind. I feel like I'm lacking and wasting time. So what are the things I can do right now to change that rather than letting these thoughts cook? I plan and save jobs to apply to. I look up videos that will help me learn how to read Urdu. I listen to French podcasts and repeat phrases for myself. I even work on and edit some short story premises that have been sitting in my drafts. See, I'm not exactly productive per se though. I still have very fleeting attention. <laughs> But the times I do gather the energy and the focus, I try to make them count. Looking back though, I think what my life severely lacks these days is some human interaction. I haven't had moments to unburden myself and I'm so wary of dropping my fears onto others. Instead, I live every day internalizing them.
The thing is, I prefer being vulnerable and open. I like the carelessness that comes with oversharing, but I haven't had much of a trigger for that these days. Because even understanding how I actually feel is difficult to come to terms with sometimes. I've been spending time alone in a way that I should be getting used to. I've been watching it snow and I've been spending my days all week. And though it's hard to be patient at times, it's also just a gracious consequence of having things to wait for.